Alright, so, uh, I finished the fuselage. Uh, the rudder is still too big. I gotta cut it down more and, uh, build it. I mean, uh, not build it. Uh, just cut it down more. Um, I have the push rod set up. I have it set up for on the elevator. Uh, elevons. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I might have to put ailerons on it, but, uh, I don't want to. The wings are unsupported right now, so they're really floppy. I'm just gonna put, like, a dowel or something down them. Wooden. I don't feel like making the carbon fiber. Um, but they're, uh, ele they're gonna be elevons in the back. Uh, which should be alright. And then, uh, the T28 motor's in the front. And, uh, I put... All kind, I put like uh, four pieces of 15 millimeter EPP, and uh, I got a 30 amp speed control from Wellguard, and a, my AR 500 is in there. I don't think you can see it. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't do any taping on this. Uh, there's still some finishing work to be done. I just got to put the carbon rod and do all the taping, pretty much. Um, but the structural support minus the the bendy in there is all it's all finished. Uh, I don't have the radio set up yet. Um, I'll, I'll uh, turn it on and power it up, and I'll, I'll cut to that video. All right. So uh, I, I, set, I set up the radio. Uh, my DX6I. Uh, I have a really wacky setup uh, on the back. So there's the motor. Uh, on the back, I have uh, my elevons. There, I made them elevons. Uh, if I don't, I doubt they're gonna have enough throw to move the plane around and then the rudder. But I doubt they're gonna have enough throw to move the plane around. I'm probably gonna need to put ailerons on them, on it. Uh, I, I just didn't want to. I decided to just do that. Uh, cause right now I don't have any more of these little micro nylon weak cheapo servos at the moment. Um, so, uh, I would have to buy more, but if it, I, I, I don't think those are going to be very good ailerons. Uh, I have the uh, rudder and, uh, just elevons. I'm going to make them move quite a bit. And then the huge rudder, uh, I think that's too much. i got to sub trim that out. Um, but, uh, I'm running it off a 3 cell 1800 milliamp, uh, like I said before, a 30, um, amp speed control. It pulls it, uh, I think it goes partially vertical, not 100% vertical, but it, it pulls up slightly when you let go, it kind of goes a little bit. But once I finish putting all the other stuff on it, it should have like a, a 1 to 0.9 power to weight ratio. Uh, I, I don't know if I said that right, I might be 0.9 to 1, um, meaning that it's a little heavier than the thrust, which I, which I expected it was going to be worse, but it's not actually. I made it nice and light. Um, but yeah, it seems pretty good. I'm gonna put a, a Bombay. I think I'm pr a pretty big Bombay um, right there. It's not very large, but it is somewhat big. Um, and I'm just gonna use like Depron or Balsa, I think, for the door um, when I do put it on. Uh, I'm not gonna use the foam because if I put that in. It'd be like bendy. I'm gonna make it uh, open sideways like this, uh, with uh, a torque rod going down and on like that. Um, not dissimilar to uh, my F117. Here, I'll cut the footage. This is the, uh, the F117. Uh, the torque rods. They're just some steel rod that I, I put and I bent it like that, and then I go into my Corona Metal Gears and. Uh, they move quite a lot, and they, they're they're really strong, and there's not too much flex in them. I mean, there is a little, but that's the servo because they're they're sloppy servos. But it works pretty good. And uh, another thing about this plane is uh, it the Bombay. It has a little Bombay. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna make the Bombay like this, so I'm gonna do it differently. Uh, so uh, this one also has an Air 500. But, uh, this is RC Powers F-117 with the torque rod. And, uh, I'm gonna show you, uh, another m big, my cargo plane's torque rods on the aileron. Alright, here's my, uh, my big cargo plane. Uh, the torque rods are probably easier visible here because it's on the white. Um, they're, they're, oh, I gotta plug it in. Uh, they're really large. Uh, the motor's there on, uh, just little 10, uh, amp 
speed controls. There's two of them on 8.4 props. The reason I say that is uh, this is a 30 amp um, for that plane. It has like the same wingspan and uh, fuselage distance as this. Um, so it's like about the same uh, as that. And uh, it, it's pretty darn, it's uh, large, um, but they, they move a lot. I have, th I, I give my plane some throws, uh, in the elevator. And then I have differential throws. Uh, alright, so back to, um, to this plane, uh, the Cessna 210, I think, uh, it either looks like a Cessna 210 or a Piper Cub. Uh, I don't know which, I'll have to decide. The tail is a Cessna 210. The body was designed to be a, uh, uh, a Cessna, but it looks a lot more like a Piper Cub. And then on the wings, I just kind of, uh, gunned it. Uh, I want to see how much this thing weighs, if I can turn my scale on. Um, it seems like it'll be pretty heavy. Uh, I don't know where the CG is, so, uh, I might need to add, like, nose weight clay to the front. Um, it's not added on yet, but I, I usually don't, I don't like to go over. Uh, so that's pretty much the end. I, I just got to put my, uh, my piece of wood in there and, uh, finish the taping. Um, and tape down my electronics, because nothing is taped down. The battery doesn't even have Velcro, but it's all just, like, floating around in there. Then I got to put a magnet on that. Um, and the Bombay for an ounce on my nose weight. Uh, it weighs one pound and, uh, seven... One pound and, uh, five or six ounces. Uh, which is the same as 22 ounces. Uh, right? Yeah, 22 ounces. So it's 22 ounces and, uh, it's EPP. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much the end. I, I just got to put my, uh, my piece of wood in there and, uh, finish the taping, um, and tape down my electronics, because nothing is taped down. The battery doesn't even have Velcro, but it's all just, like, floating around in there. Then I got to put a magnet on that. Um, and the Bombay. I got to fix that. Uh, but this plane is from the T-28, like I said before. Um, and, uh, yeah, me and my friend found it in a marsh, so, uh, he, he's still beginning, so, um, uh, he's gonna fly this off, I'm gonna, like, let him fly it, I think, it flies really nice, uh, and really easy when I'm finished, um, I, I made it kind of, that's why I made it out of EPP, the wings are Depron, most of EPP, um, camera cut out on me there, uh, I don't know where it left off, but, uh, what I said was, the, there's a leading edge on this, but I think I'm gonna put a KF airfoil, on it, uh, like I do, like uh, I have a leading edge, like on this, where it droops down. Uh, I think I would put a KF2 on it, um, or a, a KF3, which is the double step. Um, but I think it's pretty good. If it doesn't fly with those, it, uh, elevons in the back, I'm just gonna put some big ailerons on them. Uh, nice carbon spar. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for